All right, everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about divine skills and my kind of initial thoughts on what I think of them. We got our first divine skill user, which is Welstra Blitz Arms. We got about five more to go, it seems like. So we got our first and we're gonna dive into it. First, we're just gonna kind of talk about the Welstra support that we got. So starting off with the obvious one, Welstra himself. Let's just kind of go over his skill. It's when this unit attacks a Vanguard, Energy Blast 2. Uh, you can choose a product order from your order zone, operate it. This unit gets 10,000 until the end of that battle. Then it's Divine Skill. Divine Skill is an effect that you can only use a total of once per fight among all your cards. And the skill is Act, Counter Blast 1, choose up the two product cards with different card names from your hand and put them in the order zone. If you put two cards, you can choose a product from your order zone and operate it. It's a really good setup card. It's kind of more focused about making it more about kind of consistency as opposed to like a blow your opponent up and end the game that moment type of skill. I was kind of more thinking these were going to end up being similar to Overturn and Buddy Fight. If you don't know what Overturn is, if, uh, if you haven't played Buddy Fight, it's an effect where you can only use it once per game and it was this huge like like either resource gain that would just make it so that you had so much resource that you could destroy your opponent that turn or it was just an excessive amount of attacks and excessive amount of damage and your opponent couldn't do anything about it so i think the fear was that divine skill would end up being like these blow your opponent up card effects but it doesn't look like we're going in that direction so all we can see so far with wellstra is that divine skills seem to be going more towards the tradit like I guess you could say Pokemon V-Star effect where it's like add a resource and go with what you got. So the Divine Skill itself doesn't seem to be that broken, right? So we're, we're pretty good to go on the fact that Divine Skills aren't going to be this thing that's going to destroy the meta. But what's interesting about Divine Skill is that we're getting Divine Skill support cards kind of going into Ralstra's support product order. Extreme Satellite Weaponry Uranth. I think your reign. Uh, when it's put into your order zone, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard Welster and its card name, you can draw a card and energy charge three, which is pretty cool. Uh, then you can operate it when this is operated during your battle phase by the ability of a Vanguard with Welster and its card name with divine skill. If the card was not put into your order zone this turn, you can choose when your opponent's rearguards and retire it. Choose when your opponent's vanguards, give it minus 10,000 and if your opponent has four less damage, deal one damage. That's a lot of stuff for one card to do. So even though the, the divine skill itself might not be that broken, we're getting some pretty good support for these divine skill units. The rest of the Wall Street support is pretty tame. We got the, the ride line. So we got the starter. We got the grade one, which is when it's wrote upon Bly Uber. You can soul blast one, search your deck for a product card. Uh, if it's grade less than or equal to your Vanguard, uh, you put it into your hand. Then for Uber's skill is when it attacks a Vanguard, you energy blast three, choose a product from your order zone and operate it. When this unit is wrote upon by a unit with Wellstra in its name with divine skill, so we're still getting that divine skill support. If your order zone has a product, soul blast one, discard a card from your hand, search your deck for up to two product cards with different card names from each other, and from and cards from your order zone as well. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. You may search for only one, two. Now support for Wellstra seems to be pretty consistent, pretty similar to the previous support. So, but the divine skill itself just makes it so that you can immediately get your products into your order zone and just kind of start playing the game, which is good. I like this idea of being able to, not having to wait turns out till you can get to your big play the divine skill seems to be like, let's just get you your resource and get you playing the game, which is nice. These are all the best things so far about divine skill. We have to wait and see what we get with the other five that are coming out. So we might still have a chance to get that broken destructive ability. As of right now, we only have the Welstra divine skill revealed. So we'll have to find out later. The one thing that I am worried about with divine skill is that we're only going to get five or i'm sorry we're only going to get six units with these skills and no other units are really going to have divine skills themselves they're just going to be support cards why is this an issue my only fear is you know in in relation to games like pokemon and buddy fights and so i've kind of already gave those examples with pokemon you have a bunch of cards with the v-star effect 
It's not like they are fated Pokemon or anointed Pokemon with these effects and they're the only ones who can have it. Similar with Buddy Fight, even though the Overturn and Overkill were catered to Thunder Empire and the Chaos, they, there were still a bunch of cards that were in those categories. So you had like over 20 cards that categorized as either Thunder Empire or the Chaos with Overturn or Overkill effects. Where is this going? The one thing that we can see so far, at least where the anime is going, there are six fated or chosen units with these divine skills or chosen by divine fate to take place in this battle or like it's fate stay night meets vanguard basically right the only foreseeable issue i can see is that we're only going to be stuck with these six cards for a while and that means that you're gonna have only divine skill decks for these so i'm just wondering i don't know what other units we're gonna get divine skill given the fact that the only reason they're given these divine skills is because they're quote unquote anointed so either bush road ignores the anime and they decide to just give units divine skills because they feel like it because that's just good product design or they stick with it because that's the whole point of the lore and we're just stuck with the same six units and six decks you know for the next foreseeable future at least with for this season it's kind of cool that these cards do have these effects but it's kind of worrying that it's only going to be these six units or other iterations of them in the future so that means if you want to play a divine skill deck it's going to be a Welster deck. You're not going to get Divine Skill Orphis. You're not going to get Divine Skill Gravidia. It's just going to be Welstra. At the end of the day, if that it is what it is, and if that's just the way it's going to be, it's fine. That's the only real issue I can see with Divine Skill is that it's only catered to one specific unit, one specific themed deck, and therefore other decks that are like kind of maybe looking forward to attributing this mechanic probably won't see it just due to lore. I guess. Again, we've only seen Wellstra, we haven't seen the rest of the support, so we'll just have to wait and see. With that being said, I think I'm just gonna take off from here. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about Divine Skill so far, what you're looking forward to, and also your thoughts. Like, do you think that Divine Skill is gonna be this thing that's only catered to the six units, or do you think that maybe Bush Road in some way will add Divine Skill to other units and find some wiggle room in there as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.